I play Tarkov every day with the sole objective of achieving the raid, the one that sets you apart, the one that you and everyone else will forever remember as the best raid of your career. Well, today I did it. I managed to clear almost the entire shoreline lobby of PMCs all by myself, and this is the story of how I accomplished my goal. It all starts at Path of Lighthouse, with the initial goal of completing two quests, Wet Job Part 1 and Cargo X Part 1. The first requires killing 10 scavs with specific weapons, among which I chose the ADAR with 856A1 ammo. The second requires retrieving documents from a room in the resort, which is why I decided to head in that direction, killing two birds with one stone. All right, I need to get some scavs this raid uh, to complete Red Job Part 1. Uh, I need to really get Red Job Part 4 to unlock the MDR-762. Also, the ADAR is single fire, so... Um, I really need to be careful. It, it's good for, for scavs, for killing scavs, but... If I if I'll have to face PMCs... Well, I'll do, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I usually find at least two sniper scavs. Let's see. There you go. Great. More scabs can spawn here, but it doesn't seem like the case. Alright, I need to go east wing. After taking out the sniper scabs, I decide to approach the resort from the cinema to gather intel on potential players inside the building. Alright, we made it into the cinema. I don't think there's anyone here in the cinema, but... What? Aw, oh, come on, man. I thought it would go through the pole, man. <laughs> Great. We are at three. Positioned in the resort, I immediately head towards the east wing. And this is where things get interesting. Good. That's four. Someone's coming. They're outside. Yeah, I can try a thing. You will definitely climb here. No, I missed it, damn it. Alright, so three men. That that's an issue. Fuck. Having taken down one, maybe two PMCs, based on my intel, there's at least one still alive. All that's left to do is wait and find out his location. Let's see. Alright, just one, just one. I'm almost out of ammo.
What the hell, man? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Mater is completely broken. Oh my god. Bruh. A whole team of 5 PMCs taken down. Let's just say I was pretty amazed. But this is only the beginning. I don't trust it's over, man. I think I'm clear. Oops. Oh, the new knife sound is so cool, man. Woo! I like it. Nice. I think these are 7N... No, it's actually an EP. Okay. Uh, okay, parkour can stay there. Wow, he had already looted uh, his friend's weapon. <laughs> nice. Man, they must have reported me. <laughs> I think I'll keep a weapon. Uh, probably the MK-47. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the best idea here. Wait, actually, I think I'll take his M4. Uh, like, drop my ADAR and take his M4. Seems like a good idea. He's already 856, right? Yeah. I'll take his sock, I think. Great. Somebody downstairs. For sure. Okay. I need to find a different room. I think here is fine. After looting the bodies, I swap my ADAR for the PMC's M4 and focus on the footsteps I heard earlier. The moment of peace is about to end. I can probably go down from outside. Shit, man, what the hell? That was the worst jump scare of my life. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, this guy's gonna hold me forever. A PMC at the end of the hallway keeps me pinned down, making it not easy to navigate this complex situation. Fortunately, the wardrobe in the middle of the hallway provides good cover to disengage and regain a tactical advantage. I wanna flank him from upstairs. somebody else he's below me wait upstairs what Two PMCs, possibly in a team, hold different angles. Taking initiative and moving first before they do is key to unlocking the situation. 
Yeah, upstairs. Huh. I heard them. He's here. He's turning. Oh, damn you piece of ass. But it doesn't end here. There's still at least one PMC unaccounted for, well positioned along the hallway leading to the other wing of the building. Getting out of his hiding spot won't be easy, but I will figure something out. Apparently he's just standing still there. Wait, who killed this guy? I think probably him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's been camping that spot for 15 minutes, man. Through one as well. Maybe this guy has nades. Maybe I can get an angle from the roof. I'm out of nades. Uh, I don't know if I left some nades on, on the bodies. Yeah, I think not. That's the guy outside that I haven't looted, but I don't think it's convenient to go out right now. <laughs> he has no clue where I am. That's great. Okay. Wait, haven't I dropped some nades in the backpack? Ah, there you go. Is he still there? After more than 10 minutes, the PMC is still in the exact same spot on the second floor. So I decide to go up to the third floor to try pushing him with some grenades. But then... I just, I just don't, I just don't know, man. I just <laughs> I don't know what happened. What is going on? <sighs> what the fuck, man? Whew. Okay, I have no bullets left. I need to drill everything. And so, by taking down another two PMCs, I find myself at a total of eight. This is why I love Shoreline Resort. It offers dozens of opportunities to flank, circumvent, and push. Once you learn to pick up the audio clues from PMC activities, everything becomes easier. Playing solo, furthermore, makes life easier too. Not being able to confuse your teammates' footsteps with those of enemies, and with a bit of experience, you develop an almost perfect mental map of every PMC's position in the area, making it possible to locate and eliminate them. Now comes the most satisfying part, looting the bodies. Oh my god, bro. Oh my Jesus. Let's see, maybe he has better ammo than me. 5-6? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Uh. Huh. Oh.
What a fight! Ooh, these were level 5 plates. Ouch. Okay, let's do this. Perfect. This one I haven't killed. Okay. Kill armor, but it's... Uh, it's not that great. Okay. It will do for now. Alright, I think I'm done with this floor. I should go downstairs. Alright, let me grab the MK. Uh, I need to loot the, the one outside as well. <laughs> Alright, how much do we have left? 10 minutes? Alright. Late wipe? This is definitely my best raid ever. Alright, this... Uh, I think I'll take the M MK just because the MDR is broken. I'll, I'll probably just take out the attachments and... Uh, and yeah. All right. Uh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Let's take this. I just need one last thing here. There you go. Wait. Double gold chain? Can't say no to a double gold chain. I just need to check the one outside and then um, I'm good to go. The MK was definitely from this guy, because I think they recovered it. <laughs> Wait, I killed two? What? Oh, what the hell, man. <laughs> nah, I killed two with that spray. Nah, nah, man. Bruh. I'd love to take the MDR, but... Uh, nah, let's just leave it there. <laughs> Bruh. What is this, man? What is this? Oh. Oh. So it was a five-man team. Five men plus one plus two. Yeah. So it's a eight PMC total. Guys, I swear, I promise... I haven't swiped my credit card or any website. <laughs> it just happened, okay? Don't ask me how, but it just happened. Just don't ask me how it happened. <laughs> As I finally reached the extraction, I want to thank you for joining me on this adventure. Everything you've seen was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Link in the description. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments what was your best raid ever. This adventure has come to an end, but our journey continues. If you want to see more like this, click on the screen right now. See you in the next tale.